If you want to live longer and healthier, just cut your calorie intake by 25%. That's what members of the Calorie Restriction Society believe, and they follow a diet that cuts calories but still ensures that the essential nutrients are supplied in adequate amounts. For men, this means cutting down to roughly 16 to 1,700 calories. For women, 14 to 1,500. That's quite a bit less than the North American average, oh, which uh, runs from you know 2,200 to 2,800, depending on your on your age, uh, gender. Anyway, historically, the concept of calorie restriction can be traced back to the work of Cornell biochemist and gerontologist Clive McKay who in the 1930s found that rats put on a calorie-restricted diet lived about 30% longer. The idea then was championed by University of California pathologist Roy Walford, who furthered McKay's work and found that the lifespan of mice could be doubled by severe calorie restriction. He captured the public's attention with his book, seductively titled The 120-Year Diet and claimed that eventually he himself would be living proof that the calorie-restricted diet works. Over the years, researchers have demonstrated that calorie restriction can extend the life not only of rats and mice, but flies, spiders, guppies, dogs, and primates. I'm not sure how one puts flies and spiders on a restricted diet, but these days, uh, you know, there are experts in every field. Of course, what we are really interested in is the effect of calorie restriction on humans. There are no studies that have followed the fate of the members of the Calorie Restriction Society, but we can get a clue from the inhabitants of the Japanese island of Okinawa. They consume about 40% fewer calories than North Americans and have about five years longer life expectancy. The Okinawans' diet is mostly vegetables, tofu, seaweed, and fish, and some uh, low-fat protein meats. What we would really like to see is a controlled trial in people that compares a regular diet with a calorie-restricted one. One such trial, called the Comprehensive Assessment of Long-Term Effects of Reducing Intake of Energy, abbreviated as CALORIE, neat acronym, has examined the effect of a 25% calorie reduction and found significant decreases in blood pressure, LDL cholesterol, that's the bad stuff, and C-reactive protein, a marker for inflammation, while glucose control was improved and HDL cholesterol, that's the good cholesterol, increased. Researchers also examined the DNA of participants for markers of aging and noted that methylation of DNA, one such marker, indicated a slower rate of aging, but the study only lasted two years, so long-term effects are still elusive. For anyone wanting to explore calorie restriction further, dietitians can design a diet that features whole grains, vegetables, fruits, fish, lean meat, low-fat dairy, nuts, and olive oil. Whether it extends your life is questionable, but uh, hunger pangs may sure make it seem longer. As for Dr. Walford, unfortunately, he didn't make it to 120. He was stricken with ALS and died at 79. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.